everyone. Today I am going to show you how to color block with any pattern. I am showing this on the Thread Theory Fairfield top, uh, or shirt I guess I should say. It is um, a button-up shirt and I am making this for my dad for his birthday. So um, the first thing you want to do is decide where you want to color block. So I am going to color block across the chest and around to the back. And you need to draw your color blocked lines on all the relevant pieces. So I drew this on the right front the left front and the back. And where you color block is really up to you. The design possibilities are endless. Um, I'm just doing straight across and I'm gonna I'm doing this uh, navy floral with a uh, gray chambray. And um, but you don't have to do straight across. You could do diagonal. You could get crazy and do some curves. Um, it's totally up to you. You are the designer when it comes to color blocking. So you do want to make sure if it is on multiple pieces that the lines match up. So I chose a spot in between the third and fourth buttons and you want to make sure that whenever it's stitched together if you're going I mean unless like I said unless it's a design feature you do want your seam lines to match up especially if it's going to be a super bold color blocking choice now the method I'm going to show y'all today is my sort of quick and dirty method um, Traditionally, what you would want to do is trace off these two pieces into separate pattern pieces. But what I like to do is fold along my block line, which is this line here. And I'm going to first make sure that I have enough room uh, underneath. You don't want to put this fold line right on the edge of your fabric because we are going to need to add seam allowance. So this is like a rebel sewing, <laughs> a hashtag rebel sewist technique. Um, I do this if I, um, A, you can only do this if, it, if you're working with straight lines. Um, I also do this if I'm not planning on making a bunch more like this, although knowing my dad, he'll probably like it and then I'll have to make more. <laughs> so in that case, I might eventually trace off the pattern. But I did want to show y'all that you can do it without tracing off the pattern. And um, again, if you're doing any kind of like curved lines or anything, you won't be able to use this method um, you will have to trace it off I'm not going to show that in the video because I don't I'm pretty confident in your skills to be able to trace off a pattern so I am going to weigh this down and I'm going to cut now here this kind of curves in a little bit so I know that whenever I add my seam allowance I'm gonna need to come out at this curve I could just cut it along the line but um, I'm gonna anticipate this a little bit and try to mimic this angle so that um, the seam allowances are correct so I'm going to cut out I'm going to cut out along the edges that are not... Okay, so I'm going to cut out along all of these edges above my color blocked mark. Make sure to get my notches. Anyone else do their notches with a rotary cutter? It's probably not the most precise thing, but... Again, 
Rebel Sewist. So now I'm going to fold up along this uh, color block line here. Now you don't want to cut right along this line because then whenever you stitch it together you're going to lose that inch or whatever of space. So I'm going to add in my seam allowance. Um, I don't remember what the seam allowance is on this pattern, but I'm just going to add in a half an inch, which is the seam allowance I like to use, and cut there. So now I have added my seam allowance, and I have my new back pattern piece. And I will repeat this same technique on the other fabric with the bottom half of the pattern piece. And again, I will repeat this on all of my other pattern pieces. And then in construction, the first thing you wanna do before you start uh, putting any of the other uh, pattern together is to connect all of your color blocked pieces so that you're starting from the same point as if you had just cut it out in a solid fabric. So I'm going to finish cutting all of these out and then I will connect them or connect them. I will sew them all together um, and then I will be ready to start stitching. Okay, so I have stitched together all of my color blocked pieces. Here are the fronts, just so you can see. And now I'm ready to sew up this garment as usual as the instructions recommend. So you can use this technique on any pattern with any pattern pieces and it's a really fun way to customize any garment. Again, don't forget that wherever you're cutting the pattern, wherever your uh, new seam line is that you need to add the seam allowance to those lines, whether you do it the quick and dirty way, how I did just by folding the pattern piece out of the way, which you can do for generally any straight line color blocking or by tracing off the pattern and adding the new seam allowance um, in which case you, you would be tracing so that you have two pattern pieces instead of one pattern piece. So I hope you really enjoyed this technique. I can't wait to see all of your color blocked garments and I uh, can't wait to show you guys how this turns out. It's looking pretty cute so far. Thanks for joining me and happy sewing. Bye.